York based, but I live in Baltimore and I actually just wanted to start by acknowledging that there are brothers and sisters in our neighborhoods in Baltimore who do not have clean water right now this day. Um, Baltimore City has been going through a boil water advisory. There's E. coli in our water as we speak and that's really heavy on my heart right now. So I just wanted to start with that, that there's a lot of folks that probably couldn't be here today because they're busy in the streets trying to make sure that we have water. And that's why many of us are here today as well. Because this sacrificing of our lands is hitting us in so many different ways. We look at the West Coast and we're going through enormous heat waves. We look at Mississippi, we don't have water. All throughout the United States, our infrastructure is crumbling, our lives are crumbling, and we're fighting so hard, fighting so hard for a world that we want to save. But who are we saving the world for? Is it for corporations? No. Is it for profit? No. Is it for the wealthy? No. We must end inequity immediately. The longer we allow for inequities to continue, the more vulnerable we all become. All America knows is inequity. All America knows is sacrifice zones upon sacrifice zones upon sacrifice zones. Allowing for one group to be sacrificed is allowing for all of us to be sacrificed. It might not be us this time, it might not be us next time, but it was us last time, and it will probably be us in the future. A true stance of solidarity is binding together and holding the line as we proclaim that we will not be sacrificed. When we stand together, we create opportunities for growth, for dreams of our future. My dream for the future includes clean air, it includes clean water, it includes clean energy, my dream for the future includes the passage of the Environmental Justice for All Act. My dream for the future includes equity, and that means jobs for all of us. Economic empowerment for all of us, with no sacrifices for our Earth. We can't empower people with jobs in an economy that we're actively trying to run away from, which is why we can't continue to fund fossil fuel development. That's why we don't and can't have this pipeline because it's not the empowerment that is needed and it's not our collective dream for this future. We act for change and we fight for justice. We act for change and we fight for justice. Thank you.